end of the day. But uh, anyway, we've always been there in June. We've never been there in the, in the winter months. Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. This video covers a connecting your radio to N1MM via the cat control settings. I hope you enjoy it, and please click the subscribe button below. Hi everybody, Stu. AG6AG. I wanted to show you real quick how to set up rig control. What we have here is a version copy of N1MM. Uh, it basically is set up just the way that I show in the video how to set up N1MM initially. Um, this has a few additional windows open. These are kind of the windows that I like or some of the windows that I like to have open when I operate. We'll discuss the value of those in a minute. Okay, so first things first, what can we do with rig control, cat control from N1MM to our radio? Well, several things. One thing, of course, is we can control our radio directly from N1MM. Secondly, we can also uh, have the frequencies and modes automatically stored when we select and enter a QSO. And of course, thirdly, we can use our radio for digital mode inside N1MM. Now, I'm going to make a different video on that, actually probably a couple. But for right now, let's get rig control working. So if you haven't watched my base installation video, you should probably watch it. Uh, I get you to the point where you're ready to make QSOs with N1MM, and you would normally put uh, your frequency, everything else in like this, as well as your mode uh, just from there it would set it there so let's say that I was going to be on oh I don't know uh, 7 1 uh, let's do 7 2 1 3 uh, or 2 1 6 is fine and it automatically switches to lower sideband but if it didn't I could always do uh, LSB and that would switch it fairly simple we'll stick it back on 14 250 open or upper. So that allows you to do everything that you want to do as far as, you know, putting your data in. But here's something that's kind of cool. So if I do rig control, all I have to do to set it up is go to config, uh, click on the top choice, which is configure ports, mode control, and win key, and etc. cetera. Uh, we'll pull this over a little bit to the center of the screen. And Let's go ahead, and my radio, I happen to know, is on COM port 5. If you're not sure or uh, need to figure out what COM port your radio is on, I have a video on identifying COM ports. Uh, you might want to watch that. Um, for the radio, I have an FTDX3000, and, you know, they have a very large number of radios available to you here, uh, so, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and select FTDX3000, and now comes the, yeah, I'm going to say the tricky part. We're going to go under set for my top radio here, and I have to set the baud rate, uh, the uh, data and stop bits and the parity, as well as the DTR and RTS stuff for my particular radio connection. Now, I happen to know that I've gone into my menu and changed a bunch of stuff having to do with that communication portion with my radio. My baud rate or speed is now set to 38400 in my radio. It's also set up for none uh, for parity, eight data bits, and one stop bit. So basically once we have that set up and it matches our radio, and of course I typically just leave DTR and RTS set on or always on unless I need to fix that. Uh, my radio set up to uh, not expect uh, what's called RTS, uh, uh, DTR RTS. So uh, it would probably work either way for me. If you have trouble getting your radio to communicate, I encourage you to open up the radio manual and take a look at the settings, take a look at what the default settings are and how to get it set up. But for the most part, if you know the COM port 
and you know the um, BOD uh, data stop and parity portion of it, you can just click OK here and you're set to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, it shows that I'm connected to an FTDX3000, but how do I know it's actually working? Well, let me uh, let me dial the radio down here to, oh, we'll get it on uh, 14240. And will you look at that? 14240 right there. Now, here's something that's interesting too. Watch what happens when I turn the dial and I have my band map open. See how it's moving? Isn't that cool? And also, at any time, let's say I wanted to go to 14, uh, 450, all I got to do is click on it, okay? Uh, click right on the number, it'll take me right there. And if I click any place over here, it'll be a little bit more sensitive. And I can uh, uh, basically change my zoom with my mouse. See how I'm changing the scale here? I usually like to watch a lot of the stuff that's going on. So I'll make it so I get 14, uh, uh, 350 up here. Eh. Anyway, with this, I can go, let me just go back here to, uh, I'll just click over here to uh, 14, 250. And there I am. Anyway. So I can also change it right here. 14, 170. If I hit enter, it's going to change my radio to 14,170. And of course, I can always change it back right there. Now, the thing I like about the band map, right? The band map's really cool. Let me do this. Uh, we're going to put in AB6ET, right? And we'll say, oh, his class is a. Uh, uh, a D1, and his section is SB. All right, so now with this all set up, right now on 250, let's say I'm trying to get him, I'm trying to get him, I'm trying to get him, I'm in a pile up, I don't get him, I don't get him, I don't get him, I get tired, I'm going to move off frequency. So the minute that I move off frequency, look what happens over here. It goes ahead and spots him locally on my band map. Now, if I just click on him, it will change immediately back to that frequency. All I got to do is click on the uh, call sign up above the entry window, and it puts all the information in I had there waiting while I was in his pileup. Anyway, lots of other features, lots of other things I can show you, but uh, for now, let's just call it. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, We'll talk to you soon. Well, that's it. Simple enough, right? I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> if you did, please make a comment. If you have any questions, make a comment down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe. 73, and we'll hear you out there on the air.